sketch a graph of y squared minus 12x equals 0. Here we have a y squared term, but we don't have an x squared term. Do you remember which conic section only has one of the variables having a squared term? That would be a parabola. Because we have a y squared term, we want to get this in the form y squared equals 4px to figure out what the focus will end up being and to graph the parabola. So to do this, we add 12x to both sides. We want to get that term on the other side. That gives us y squared equals 12x. And we know that 12 is the same as 4 times 3. So we get 4 times 3 times x. And this is going to help us figure out what the graph looks like. Now, because this is in the form y squared equals 4px, we're going to have a parabola whose vertex is at the origin and which opens up horizontally, either to the right or to the left. Now, because the value of p is 3, that tells us that the focus is at the point 3, 0. And we said that the vertex is at the origin. So it's going to be opening to the right, but we have to figure out exactly how we want to draw this. If it's going to go up and down quite steeply, or if it's going to be more narrow. And we remember that we have the focal diameter for a parabola, the focal diameter which told us how wide the parabola was at the focus. And that was given by the absolute value of 4p. And we know here that 4p is equal to 12. And the absolute value of 12 is 12. So the focal diameter is 12, which means from the focus, if we're looking to see how wide it is, it's going to be 12 units wide, which means we're going to go up six units, and then also down six units, and that gives us a bit of an idea on how wide it's going to be opening. So it is going to look something like that. And so this is the parabola y squared minus 12x equals zero.